How are we doing, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Welcome back to another fun episode of Tom's Flair Bartending Tips. And today, what I'm going to show to you is five craft flair bartending moves which you can learn today. Here's what's coming. <laughs> Okay, let's get down to it. The first move is with the scoop. Now all of these moves, I'm using specific items, but you should be able to perform these with pretty much any item that you have behind your bar. With a little bit of practice, you'll understand how that item moves and you'll be able to perform it quite easily. So the first move is the scoop spin, which looks a little bit like this. Now, this is good to use when you're icing up a glass or uh, a shaker or any time you're picking up the scoop. And how you perform it is like this. You want to have the open part of the scoop facing towards you and you're going to place your index finger underneath and your thumb on top. And that's what's creating the spin, like this. And you're going to spin the scoop towards you. So you want to get used to doing that a few times first. Okay, and then once you get used to that, then you'll start to feel it spin on the palm of your hand. So then the trick is to try and open your hand as much as you can to create that illusion that the scoop is spinning there. Well, it isn't an illusion, it is actually spinning on the palm of your hand. You can try and do it vertical, okay, that works as well, and the better you become at the move, the longer you can spin the scoop on the palm of your hand. But I like this one that flies across uh, because I just think it looks a bit better. It looks like you've got more control over what is going on. So if you're gonna use this move to put ice into a martini glass, pick up your martini glass, spin the scoop, and then you could do one more for luck if you really want to. Right, moving on to move number two. This is with the tin on tin. Now I'm using Tom's Tiki tin on tin shaker right here, but again, this move you should be able to perform with any other tin on tin that looks similar to this. If you do want to get your hands on one of these bad boys, you can go and check it out on my shop, tomdiebartender.com, and we ship worldwide. I'm gonna show you the simplest version of the move, and then we can add a couple of flurries to it if we want to. So. Boom. So how this move works is all about hinges on your fingers, okay? So you have your middle finger and your thumb, and you wanna learn how to hold onto the shakers like this. And then you can spin these shakers from beer grab like this over to tennis grab like this. So the first move, you're gonna pick up the shaker. You've got that hinge there when tennis grab. Place your ice in the shaker and spin it over so you're in beer grab. So with the small shaker, you're literally just doing this, okay? And with the large shaker, you're gonna do the same thing again. Remember we were in this position with the large shaker and we span it over. You're just gonna spin it back the other way. And with the small shaker, it's exactly the same thing. So you end up like this, but you wanna bring them together. At the same time, you're gonna spin this one over here and this one over here. So you end up in this position both of the palms of your hand are facing up and the, the shakers are together. So all together it's like this. Grab, ice, turn, turn together and put them together like this. Place it on your bar top, simple as that. Now if you wanted to add to this, you can do a thumb roll with the big shaker and then when you do the turn, you do it all in one motion with the scoop and then you can finish off with the move as we know. And if you wanna add something else to it, you can do everything as normal, over, and instead of putting it down, you can come over one more time and place it on the bar top like this. Right, move number three is a nice one with the jigger. Now, I'm using uh, Tom's Grail jigger right here, also available from my shop, I know, shameless plug. But again, you should be able to perform this with any other style of jigger that you have. I like this one, I like the weight of it, I like the balance, and I think it looks really nice when performing this move. So the move looks like this. Really, really simple, it's just all about manipulating the jigger in your fingers. So how you perform this move, are you gonna have the palm of your hand facing up, close these three fingers, and then you wanna grab near the base of the jigger, or near the top in this case, and you're gonna turn it over. As you turn it over, you bring your middle finger 
up next to your thumb and then you let go of your thumb and you twist with your fingers so it hangs down in this position. Then your other two fingers come into place behind the jigger like this and you're holding it quite solid now and then you just turn your wrist towards you. So, turn, turn, bring fingers in, turn it over again and you're in the position for pouring. So the whole thing should look like it's rolling towards you. And then, once you come to make your pour, so you make your pour, you tip it forwards, okay? And then from this point, you just keep turning it and you can place it down in front of you like this. From this position, you can then pick up your next bottle and you can do the same pour again, or you can pour it in any way that you want. Right, the little upgrade would be to perform the move, make your pour, turn it over, and then, throw it into your opposite hand, which is holding the bottle. You can then put that bottle down, pick up the next bottle with the jigger on top, and you just literally turn it over. You can make your pour, and then carry on. Mm, easy as that. Right, move number four is one I like, and you can use any spoon you want. It's using the spoon, and it looks like this. Mm -hmm. And what's nice about this move is it's super simple to perform, but it's a nice way to pass an item from one hand to the other hand, or to pass a spoon in this case. Now I'm using a shorter spoon right here, but you can do it with a longer spoon. It actually becomes easier with a longer spoon because you have more time. But I'm gonna show you with the shorter spoon, because if you can do it with this one, you can do it with the long one easily. With this move, all you need to do is you're gonna place the spoon with the open end up, just comfortably in front of the shaker like this. And then you're just gonna pass it, you're gonna just push it across, almost throw it, but you want the spoon to stay on the bar top, okay? And then you're just gonna catch it in your other hand. Don't try and catch it in any fancy way, just have your open palms to throw from one side to the other. And you can practice doing it from one way to the other. So once you pass it over, then you can place the spoon in, you can give it a stir and try your cocktail. So if you wanna do a little upgrade with this move, okay, you can just do a little finger twist as you place it into the shaker. And you can even do one afterwards as well. I've done a full video on spoon moves, which you can just go and check out up there. Right, I've got one bonus move for you. Now normally we just pour our ingredients into the big shaker and off you go and you can shake. But, around here, whoop, boom. Pretty snazzy, right? So once you've got your shaker with ingredients over here and your shaker with ice over here, thumbs down on both of them and you're gonna turn them out and away from yourself like this. Make sure they don't collide when you come to do this. So separate your hands a little bit and then perform that move. And then you're gonna come to around with the small shaker into the large shaker and I'm gonna start pouring almost all of it now. And as I do this, I come around behind my head here, turn it over onto the bar top, give it a hit, and then I can start shaking. Right, the final move is with the Hawthorne strainer and the fine strainer. Now, it's two moves in one, essentially. The first move is a throw and the catch between your index finger and your middle finger. And I've, I've got the springs facing up because I just wanna place this in there for a faster strain from my shaker. Now with this one, I'm holding the strainer in a way, so I've got three fingers on top, one finger underneath here. Now I can strain here straight away, but it's gonna be an almost fakey strain, bring that around and then start straining my cocktail. All together, looks like this.
that is it. That is my top five craft flare bar tending moves, which are very, very easy to perform. I know there wasn't an upgrade on the last one, but it's good enough as it is. And there's that bonus move in there for you as well. So please, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button and let me know that you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will love you forever if you do. And click that bell for notifications. And thank you very, very much for watching. Jeff, the non-wavy cat, also says thank you to each and every one of you who have watched all the way until this very, very end. Thank you so much for watching once again. And until next time, see you.